Bill Russell is regarded as one of the greatest players of all time and one of the greatest defenders of all time as well. He is widely known for having won the most championships in NBA history and his rivalry with Wilt Chamberlain. But how good really was Bill Russell? Well, let's start with how I'm going to evaluate him. I'm going to look at his accomplishments and in particular his MVP seasons. I want to find his best statistical season out of his MVP seasons and then also see if he has any better seasons outside of the MVP season. Then I want to look at his finals performances and final stats. Particularly, I want to see how many times he faced Wilt Chamberlain in the finals to see how well he matched up and played against Wilt. After this, I can give a summary of Bill's offensive game and defensive game and then give my overall opinion on Russell. So without further ado, let's get started. Accomplishments and accolades. Bill Russell is one of the most accomplished athletes in sports. He's won 11 championships and five MVPs. He was a 12 time All-Star with one All-Star game MVP and he led the league in rebounds four times, made the All-NBA team 11 times and All-Defensive team once. You may be thinking, wait, if Bill Russell is one of the greatest defenders of all time, why has he only been in one all-defensive team? Well, that's because the all-defensive team accolade was introduced in the 1968-1969 to season, and this was the last year of Bill Russell's career. This is also the reason you don't see any Defensive Player of the Year awards, as that was introduced after Bill Russell retired. The Finals MVP was also introduced in the last season of Bill Russell's career. For some context, Russell only played for 13 seasons, so the fact that he was able to do this in such a short career is incredible. For Bill's career, he averaged 15.1 points, 22.5 rebounds and 4.3 assists. The only other player in NBA history to have averaged more than 15 points and 22 rebounds was Wilt Chamberlain, so Bill Russell has elite company. Let's look at Bill Russell's MVP seasons now. He won his five MVPs in 1958, 1961, 62, 63 and 65. Bill Russell is one of only three players in NBA history to win three consecutive MVPs. The two other players are Wilt Chamberlain and Larry Bird. These are the stats from each MVP season. In these seasons, the highest stats Russell achieved were 18.9 points, 24.1 rebounds, 5.3 assists and he shot 45.7% from the field and 59.5% from the line. Three of these stats, his points and both shooting percentages all came in the same season in 1962. If we look at this season, it's his best MVP season and his best season overall in his career. In 1962, he led his team to the best record in the league with 60 wins and 20 losses. He made the all NBA second team and was an all star. There is no defensive team as like I said earlier, it wasn't introduced until 1968. To finish the season, he also won the championship. In that NBA championship, he took the Lakers to 7 games and had a very notable performance in game 7. He had 30 points and 40 rebounds and he shot 44% from the field and 82% from the line, which is incredible as he was a big man and he also shot 17 free throws. If you compare that to the Lakers centers, Jim Krebs and Ray Felix, you can see that the Lakers centers had a total of 10 points, 3 assists and 14 rebounds while shooting an average of 30% from the field and 50% from the line. Comparing that to Russell, who outplayed both centers combined in every stat category. If we add in the power forwards too, he still outscored and outrebounded the power forwards and centers combined while shooting better than both of them collectively. Overall, I think that 1962 was Bill Russell's best season and his best MVP season. He averaged the most points in his career this season. He shot the second highest percentage from the field and the fourth highest percentage from the free throw line. It was also his fifth highest rebounding season. All his major stat categories were in his top five of his career. To go alongside these stats, you also saw and heard the accolades that I mentioned earlier. So to summarise his accomplishments, I'd give him a 10 out of 10. He is the second most accomplished player in NBA history with 17 trophies, only behind Michael Jordan with 22 trophies. And this was also in an era where there were no Finals MVP awards and no Defensive Player of the Year awards. So to say that Bill Russell wouldn't have won a few Finals MVPs and a Defensive Player of the Year award isn't out of the question to make him the most accomplished player of all time. 
Now let's look at his NBA Finals appearances and performances. Bill Russell played 13 seasons in the NBA and made 12 Finals appearances. These were the seasons that he won his 11 championships. These were his final stats and his best stats were 23 points, 29.5 rebounds, 5.8 assists, 70.2% from the field and 74.2% from the line. Over his 12 finals, he averaged 16 points, 25 rebounds and 4.6 assists while shooting 44.9% from the field and 59.35% from the line. If you compare his regular season stats to his finals averages, you can see that every stat category increases in the finals, showing that he was able to elevate his game in the bigger moments. In these finals, he faced Wilt Chamberlain twice, once in 1964 and the second time in 1969. Let's look at the 1964 finals. In game one, Bill Russell didn't score much, unlike Wilt, but he did get the better of Wilt in the game and go up 1-0 in the series and would also beat him statistically. Game two, Wilt would have 32 points and 25 rebounds while shooting a great percentage from the field, but unfortunately he couldn't push them over the edge as they lost game two, despite Wilt winning the matchup. Game three, Wilt had an even better performance, scoring 35 points and grabbing 25 rebounds alongside five assists with great shooting numbers but this time he was able to push them over the edge and also win the matchup. Game four saw Wilt clean the glass with 38 rebounds and 27 points, but the Celtics would get the better of him. In game five, Wilt would put in a great effort to win with 30 points and 27 rebounds, but would lose the game and the series despite winning the matchup against Russell. If we look at the averages, it reflects the player's matchup battle where Wilt would outscore and outrebound Russell, but wouldn't assist as much. In 1969, the Celtics took the Lakers to seven games. In game one, Russell took the edge with 27 rebounds and 16 points. In game two, Bill Russell had a near triple double with 21 rebounds, 13 assists and nine points. Game three was a different story where Wilt grabbed 26 boards and scored 16 points. Game four, both players cleaned the boards, but especially Wilt with 31 rebounds. Game five, Wilt matched his rebounds from last game, but Russell was more efficient. Game 6, both players were pretty evenly matched, but Russell had the edge. And in Game 7, Wilt dominated 18 points and 27 rebounds while shooting 87.5% from the field. Overall, Bill Russell did beat Wilt in the matchups 4-3, and he also won the championship. But if you look at the series averages for the stats, Wilt was actually better on average than Russell. To conclude, in the two times they faced each other in the finals, but Russell took the edge championship wise. But stats wise, it was a tie. There are arguments for either side to say who was better in the 1969 finals, as Wilt wasn't the first option on the Lakers, and to be honest, he wasn't even the second or third option sometimes. So for him to average 11 plus points is quite good, but that argument could also be made for Russell. Overall, for the finals battles against Wilt, Russell won both championships, and the aim of the game is to win, so that's more meaningful in my opinion than stats. To summarise my opinion on Bill Russell, I believe that he was never the most offensively minded player, but he would get his points if and when he needed to. He had intangibles that cannot be measured, but he is a leader. He was the rock in the paint and the safety net that they needed to win. He played his role and played defence to help his team get over the edge. The fact that he won five MVPs shows that he was one of the best, if not the best player on that Celtics team. His stats are ridiculous and for a big man to be averaging more assists than some guards in today's game, it goes to show how unselfish he was. Overall, Bill Russell is quite underrated and always will be because of the lack of footage we have on him, as well as the lack of stats such as blocks and steals to represent his defensive ability. The lack of defensive player awards are also hard to see how he compared to the rest of the league, but I have no doubt in my mind that he would have averaged 2-3 to three blocks per game. But that is all for today's video, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you learnt more about the legend of Bill Russell. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.